Hey guys, so it's about 8 o'clock in the morning here in Singapore and it's still a little hot outside so I decided to go to the 12th floor swimming pool just to cool down a bit um, and hang out for a little bit before I go to breakfast. So just enjoying the really spectacular view here and I'm enjoying my time so far. Um, not sure what I'm going to be doing later. I'm going to try to go to the Singapore Flyer, visit one of my friends and do a little bit more shopping. I want to see Chinatown too so we'll see if I get to do that. It's my breakfast today. Got some French toast, bacon, eggs, a chicken sausage, hash browns, some noodles, cheese, and pasta. There's more back there so this is my first round. Um, orange juice, yeah. Next I have a fish porridge which is kind of like congee and kind of like uh, arascaldo, yeah. So right now I'm going to this place called Lucky Plaza. Apparently it's Filipino Central so we'll see if I can find any good deals here because I hear that there's a lot of um, souvenirs in that mall. I got some magnets and a keychain and the lady over there, there's like several workers but um, one of them was like from Singapore and she was trying to sell it to me for seven dollars like for the three items but then when I went to um, kind of like a few steps away near the another worker who was Filipino she's like are you Filipino? I was like yeah but I'm from the US and she's like oh five dollars I'm like that's right homie hook up way to the promenade um, MT MTR station I always get confused MTR and MRT because I think it's MRT here but um, yeah, I'm gonna go to the Singapore Flyer. I have to take two different trains, and I just got a um, transit card, which is about like 12 uh, Singapore dollars. So yeah. There it is behind those trees. That's the Singapore Flyer. It's the largest kind of observation wheel in the world. So I'm gonna head there now. Just a little mini model of the Singapore Flyer. Going up to, I don't even know where we're going next, but I feel like I'm in an episode of Star Trek right now. For real. <laughs> wow. It's very Star Trek-like, right? Thank you. Let's get inside. Yay, there's air conditioning here. Like a quarter of the way up, and this is my view. And you can see all the cables kind of running through the flyer and each of the cars um, right there. This room is actually surprisingly really big, so. I don't know if you can see, but there's a whole bunch of ships on the water as well. And I have no idea what that is. I'll have to research that. Maybe I'll put it in an annotation below. We're almost at the very top. This is the view. If you want, you can choose to have lunch on the little containers too. There, this next one is having, having champagne and lunch. Crazy! Hey guys, so not too long ago I just got out of the uh, Singapore Flyers, so now um, on the bottom floor of this kind of complex they have a whole bunch of food carts and I decided to get something quick to eat before I leave and I got this kind of pork kambau, it was like a dollar fifteen Singapore which is about a dollar US. So I'm just going to enjoy that and then probably head over to Charles Quay Station where I'm going to try and find my friends, um, where my friend works. She works at a restaurant and maybe I'll have lunch there. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Those people over there, they're eating Popeye's chicken. Um, I think it's really funny how they have a Popeye's here in Singapore. It's like, wow. <laughs> so it looks like Versace is doing a line for H&M. They have a series of advertisements here. Um, that dress from H&M is... $3.99, um, which is probably like $2.50 US. I don't know, maybe I'll go check it out. Bye. Right now I'm at Clark Quay and I'm on my way to go to Gray's where my friend Trina works. Um, I don't know where it is, but hopefully I'll get there. But in the meantime, look at that. That's really cool. It's just a building with different colored window panes. Like there's gold, red, green, blue. And there's, um, and this is called the Singapore River. And then we have the Central Mall. 
So I'll probably be going there after I eat lunch. Only after like an hour and a half I found the restaurant. Oh my gosh, it took forever. It's called Grace. Okay, so right now, <laughs> Trina's like, she's dying because I'm vlogging in front of her. This is my friend Trina. I met her. Say hi. Hello. I met her in um, Monopoly Design, but she moved back to Singapore, so I get to see her here. So we're just, um, I just met her here because she works here, and then I'm gonna have some food, and then, yeah, yeah see we're gonna fill up little Fill up my little belly, not that it's already <laughs> big enough. So for lunch, I have the, it's not really an eggs benedict anymore, but, because <laughs> there's no poached eggs, but it's a eggs benedict, quotes, with smoked salmon and scrambled eggs, with the brioche toast, and then the chorizo. And a mocktail. <laughs> um, <laughs> with the coaster. <laughs> right there. Um, it's a, uh, what is it? Ruby mock. Ruby mock. Um, with fresh pomegranate and mint leaves. So it's not entire, it's not alcoholic at all, but it's supposed to um, be really sweet and yummy and refreshing. And then also I got a mocha. Thank you. Say, say hi to the camera. Hi. <laughs> Hey guys, so I just got done having lunch with my friend Trina and it was so good to catch up with her. I haven't seen her in about two years, so the little catch up sesh was much needed. So hopefully next time I come to Singapore, I'm gonna hang out a little bit longer and two days isn't enough time just to explore. I need to stay a little bit longer next time I'm here. So right now I'm crossing the Singapore River. I think that's what it's called. There's a little boat right there. But I'm going to go to the MTR station and then probably head over to the Far East Plaza because earlier when I was there, um, it, not, not, not that many shops were open. So hopefully when I get back, there will be more places open. Uh, this song reminds me so much of Diane and Chester. If you guys are watching this, it's your, it's your wedding song. Hey guys, so I'm at Clark Key. Um, I've been saying Clark Quay all this time, but I've been corrected by three people, like two taxi drivers and my friend, so it's Clark Key. Um, behind me, it's just a whole bunch of bars and kind of restaurants along the Singapore River. So right now, I'm just walking around. I'm gonna go to Central Mall, which is right there, and then probably head back. Okay, so this place right here, I'm walking out the store right now. They're selling all these name brand stuff like Calvin Klein, Aber Abercrombie & Fitch, Hollister. But that shit looks hella fake so I don't even know why they're trying to sell it for $7.99 Hong Kong or Singapore dollars. That was for like one of the Calvin Klein shirts which is kind of like ridiculous. It is at $7.99 Singapore dollars and I think that equates to like I want to say 500 US for a dress shirt from Calvin Klein and it looks fake? Hell no. How the hell is this guy wearing a long sleeve? It is so fucking hot outside right now. I don't get how he's wearing a long sleeve. I just left Tang's uh, department store mall thing and I was looking at the Shu Uemura counter and they're most known for the eyelash curler that everyone seems to like but I was looking at their BB, not cream, but BB mousse, blemish base mousse and I tried it on and it looked good um, starting out but I asked the lady if I can try the BB cream in like a flash photography because usually with stuff with SPF 30 it um, tends to cast a white shadow and she's like oh sure and then it looked like I had a ghost on my face and then my neck was like super dark and this bitch was hella trying to get me to buy it and I'm like no I'm not trying to look crazy and she's like well you know it's okay but I said no because if you know anything about makeup you need to make your face blend with your neck because you look like a damn ass fool if you do so um, I said no and she was like okay just walk around and see if it oxidizes and maybe it'll like light or darken up. I just left. And then as I left, I was like, oh thanks. And then she goes, okay, bye. And then I look behind and then she kind of says something to another department store lady. I should have been like, bitch, I am not the motherfucking one. I see an H&M. So I'm at this place called Baker's Inn and it's in the mall. 
Paragon Mall in Singapore. Here for dinner and I passed by it a few times the other day but it looks really good. This is the meal. Got your carbonara pasta, lone bacon, two pieces of bread with butter, looks like tomato soup, salad with bell peppers, and it looks like a mango mousse. That's the cake of the day. Back there, this thing right here, it's an Italian soda. Not the normal Italian soda that we're used to, but it doesn't have half and half in it. It just looks like it has the syrup and the club soda. Anyways, time for me to scotch this down. Hey guys, I'm walking back to the hotel right now after dinner, but just wanted to show you that <clears throat> this is the uh, hotel that I'm staying at. Um, the video that I showed earlier where I was on the pool, that's the 12th floor where you see that kind of um, open space towards the middle right there. Um, that's the swimming pool and so to give you context, that's the street level and swimming pool is right up there. So yeah. Hey guys, I'm going to quickly do a haul video and kind of like my last remarks of Singapore since this is my last day. But onto the haul video, I didn't get too many things because honestly things here in Singapore are a lot more expensive than in the US. For example, I went to this, this Forever 21 and usually back home Forever 21 is pretty inexpensive but here it's just a lot more overpriced than back home. Thus I only got one thing here. So this is what I got. I got a blue, navy blue tank top that has little white waves on it. I think the reason why I got this honestly is because I'm going to Phuket tomorrow and I only brought two tank tops with me so I just decided to get this. Plus it fit me pretty well and yeah I like the, the sizing, the color and the graphics right here. This was about 31 Singapore dollars so about maybe 25 dollars US. I know it's a lot more expensive back home, but um, I liked it and decided to get it. And then I went to Top Man. They don't have a Top Man back in Seattle, so I decided to get this item that was a little bit more expensive than the other tank top. I got a tank top here as well. It's this uh, dark green and kind of bright red tribal print uh, tank top. and. I normally wouldn't get something this expensive. This was like 33 uh, Singapore dollars, which equates to maybe like 27, 28 US dollars. But I like the tribal print, and since there's none back home, I decided to get it since I'm on vacation, anyways. One thing about this is I've seen Indian, Native American tribal print throughout many stores in Asia, even the non US clothing stores and I think it's really funny because I don't even know that this is a Native American print or maybe I'm just ignorant and these prints occur from other cultures in Asia I don't know but anyways that's that and I really like that color probably gonna wear it in Phuket as well and then I got super simple a shot glass that says Singapore souvenirs and then afterwards I went to Pedro it's in the Ion Mall but um, Pedro is basically a high, it's kind of comparable to Aldo, but I think a little bit more, more high end. Um, they have shoes, accessories, and bags. But I got a bag. It's brown and it has like a canvas tan um, front with the leather bottom and the leather handles. It's about 16, 17 inches wide, so it's perfect for me to store my MacBook Pro if I choose to put it in here and it has a zipper on the top to close and open and as well as these little belt loops to strap the shoulder strap on it so you can hold it by the handles or carry it on the shoulder with the shoulder strap so that was about 116 Singapore dollars so about maybe 100 US dollars and then afterwards I went to Lucky Plaza I'm gonna sh I probably showed a video clip of me going there earlier in this video, but I went to this place called Venom, and again with a tribal print, I got a black and white tribal print t-shirt, fit really well with me. The funny thing is, this is an extra large, and I don't know if it's because it's the Asian size, but I'm obviously not an extra large in US standards, 
I'm more like a small medium, but this is an extra large and it fits me pretty well. Yeah. Or maybe I just gained weight while I've been here. I doubt it because I've been sweating so much in this trip and I should be losing, losing something, like losing some weight. And then lastly I went to this place called Prairie. Oh, I don't know why I'm showing the bag, it doesn't even have a logo. But I got this black t-shirt that says Love Hate in dark gray lettering. It fits pretty well and it's a size medium and I really like it. So that's what I got from Singapore. I didn't get too much, but at least with these pieces, I can always say I got it in Asia. I got it in Singapore. And yeah. But anyways, some closing remarks about Singapore. I realized that Singapore is the melting pot of Asia, and I agree. There are a lot of different ethnicities here in Singapore. I wish that I had a little bit more time here to hang out. Um, two days is definitely not a lot of time, especially since I've never been here before. I really wanted to go to the night safari, which I probably won't be able to do tonight because I'm just too tired and I need to get my rest before I leave to the airport tomorrow. But anyways, I'll see you guys later. Bye.